Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time once again for another Indie Gala Bundle. Yeah, I know, right? Hasn't it been like two weeks since the last one? Uh, I think it's been about three weeks, actually, since number five. They've had a mobile bundle in the meantime, and now they're releasing Indie Gala number six. It just feels to me like they're releasing these way too frequently. And I know that sounds weird coming from me, knowing that Indie Royale is one of my favorite bundles, but I've explained in the past why I like Indie Royale's format, and why I don't mind that they release a bundle every three to four weeks. I think they're doing this well, and I think Indie Gala is taking the same format and not quite doing it as well. Okay, I gotta stop myself before I go off on a tangent here. The point of this video is not to critique how frequently Indie Gala does or doesn't release bundles. It's actually to communicate two specific things. The first one is the existence of Indie Gala number six, what games are contained inside of it, and why I think it might be worth your money. The second thing we can actually go ahead and get out of the way right now, and that is my second chance Indie Gala giveaway. You guys might remember during Indie Gala number 5, I gave away my extra copies of Indie Gala number 4. Well, Indie Gala number 6 is no different. I am going to be giving away 4 copies of Indie Gala number 5. So this is going to become a regular thing, so long as I can continue to afford it, here on Big Dave is Cheap. Each gala that launches will signal the beginning of a contest where you can obtain the previous gala, if you did happen to miss it. The reason that I can do this is because Indie Gala does these happy hours, where you can essentially get four bundle gifts for the price of one bundle. So that allows me, the cheap bastard that I am, to grab a bunch of gifts all at once, and then pretend like I'm generous and give them out to you, when in all reality I paid like six bucks for an ass ton of games, and you guys are reaping the rewards of that. But but I think it's something that I'm really interested in doing. We got a decent enough response to the last contest, and all of the giveaways that I've done on the channel have had a decent enough response. And even if there's only 10 or 12 people who actually care, hey, you can get free stuff for just watching my videos, right? Great. So if you're interested in getting into the running for an Indie Gala number five, place a comment on this video. That's it. If you want to comment on the video but don't want an Indie Gala number 5, just kind of say that in your comment. Like, hey, your video sucks. By the way, don't give me an Indie Gala number 5. Something like that. So let me quickly recap the games that were in Gala 5. It's going to be a real quick and dirty recap, and uh, that might allow you to determine whether or not you want to enter. So in no particular order and with absolutely no description of what the hell these games are, Indie Gala number 5 contained Making History, The Calm and the Storm, Beat Hazard, Razor 2, Hidden Skies, The Ironclads Collection, Space Empires 4, Deluxe, Battle Mages, World Rally Championships, Bad Rats, Rats Revenge, Disciples 2, Rise of the Elves, Puzzle Kingdoms, Ninja Blade, and SBKX Superbike World Championship. So if even one of those games sounds like something that you would like to have for absolutely free for nothing more than the simple task of putting a comment on a YouTube video, then go ahead and leave your comment below. I am not announcing a specific cutoff date for this video. I will take stock of how you guys respond to it, and I will set an actual end date for the contest this Friday on Free to Play Friday. Now, moving on to the bundle at hand, it's Indie Gala number six. This bundle actually continues the fine tradition started by Indie Gala number five in that it's not really all that indie. Uh, indie Gala 5 got some flack in the indie games press for not being as indie as it could be, or I guess they thought it should be. And this bundle continues that tradition. Indie Gala 6 features the Commandos series, and the Commandos games were published by IDOS, and last I checked, that's not an indie company. But, frankly, I don't care, because the Commandos games are awesome, and they're a little bit older, and if you haven't played them, you need to play them. So... I kind of see this as a means to feature an older game, which in many ways might end up being an indie game, because if Commandos was put out today, I doubt that a major company would actually have greenlit it, and it probably would have ended up being an indie game. So, it's kind of indie, I guess? 
So indie or not, let's talk about the games. Let's talk about the pricing tiers. At the pay what you want tier, you have access to three games. That is Commandos, Behind Enemy Lines. That's the first Commandos game from 1998. I put a lot of time into that game and a lot of frustration into that game, but I have mostly good memories of it. You can also get Commandos, Beyond the Call of Duty. This was the standalone expansion to Commandos. Not really a sequel, more like a map pack. Think of it like that. You can also get the trippy surrealistic The Void. And The Void was recently featured in Indie Royale, so you may already own it. But if you do, be generous. Hand that code out to one of your pals. Also be warned, I do believe this game contains artistic nudity, so maybe don't give it to your 8-year-old cousin. So if you're willing to spend a little bit more than just a buck or two, you can move on to the second tier. If you pay more than $6.25, you get access to these five additional games. Commandos 2, Men of Courage, and Commandos 3, Destination Berlin. When you put those together with the first two Commandos titles featured in the bundle, you have the entire Commandos series. Now, there was another game that was released called Strike Force that went to a first-person view, but... Much in the same way that many people disavow any knowledge of Deus Ex 2, many of us Commandos fans have also disavowed that game. But there's not just Commandos games to be had, there are also three additional games at the 625 level. You can also get Ion Assault, which is a dual stick shooter, which seems to have a really cool particle effect and claims to have adaptive difficulty. That might be interesting to test out in a future video. There's also Air Conflicts Secret Wars, which claims to be a World War I and World War II based action flight simulator. Looks really good. The graphics look pretty damn awesome, and I would really love a chance to take that one for a spin. And finally, from the makers of The Void, you have Cargo, the quest for gravity. Now, this game looks absolutely insane from what I've seen. You seem to make little contraptions, but also there are these fat babies and gravity things, and I don't... It's an odd-looking one, but it certainly looks like it has promise. Quirky, no doubt, uh, but worth a look. So just to recap, that is Commandos, Behind Enemy Lines, Commandos, Beyond the Call of Duty, Commandos 2, Men of Courage, Commandos 3, Destination Berlin, Ion Assault, Air Conflict, Secret Wars, and The Void, along with Cargo, The Quest for Gravity. As per usual, the Indie Gala will add bonuses in the second week of the Gala's duration, so if you're a little on the fence, maybe hang out, wait for those bonuses to be unlocked, and make the decision at that point. If you're interested in more in-depth looks at any of the games in the current Indie Gala, I would encourage you to head over to IndieGala.com, where they have preview videos as well as small write-ups on each individual game. And with that, I don't think there's anything left to say about Indie Gala number 6. Don't forget you can win an Indie Gala number 5 in the Second Chance Indie Gala giveaway by posting a comment on this video. Alright guys, I have been Big Dave, and until next time... Take it easy.